here is my review for Hunter x Hunter episode 90, so let's get into this. So this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter, this was an overall good episode, though I have a little gripe with this episode, though. When it comes to least kill this part, anyways, I have a little bit of a gripe in that area right there, and I'm going to get into it as I get into this review, but nonetheless, this was a good episode, so there's really there's three parts part, part of this episode, which is the Knuckles versus Dawn, the Killa versus Shoot, and at the end of the ep episode, the king is going to be awakened. So, <laughs> yeah, but let's, let's get into the first part, which is Gong versus Knuckles. And basically, that fight was not really much of a fight at first, because really, it just starts off like a little bit of hand-to-hand, -hand, so some fight going on, but, oh, well, not really, no. No, there's no fight going on at all. What am I, what am I saying? It's just The whole part, point of that um, whole, like, half of the episode, really, was just explaining Knuckles' powers. And, and honestly... Him explaining his powers for that long, I just wish it went a little quicker and we got a little bit more action. Because, I mean, his power is very interesting. And I'll give Hunter x Hunter this. So far from what I've seen, when it comes to like these powers and stuff, I mean, this is just a battle shonen. This is the most unique powers I've ever seen when it comes to a battle shonen uh, show. Or, or, or just a, a battle show that I've seen anyways. Like, it's just the powers are very unique. Never seen before. So this is kind of cool to see. His power is very, very unique. Though I'll say this is... I don't... I don't quite care about it. I mean, his power is cool, but at the same time, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I probably don't really like it, but what his power does, the gist of it anyways, the gist of it is basically he gives people nin, which makes them stronger, but every person has a limit to how much nin they can hold. If it exceeds their limits, they bust and cannot use nin after that until they repay the debt that, that was, um, that, that, that's that's going on. That's getting built up with the fight, basically. And he makes debt on them while it's going on. So then they can't use them anymore, and the battle's over. So that's kind of what he's doing to Gong at the moment. So he has to hurt and beat him in like four minutes, or he's gonna bust. And then he cannot use them anymore, and it's, it's game over right there. So yeah, and how he basically repays them, he has to hit him and, and try to pay back in that in that form, in that fashion, trying to give him back in and stuff. So I mean, it's it's interesting. It's, like I said it's very very interesting. It's probably very very interesting. But, like I said, overall, it's just I wish there was a little bit more fighting in that part because there wasn't really much going on. Like, uh, it's just the whole explanation of his power. But, yeah, so overall, I mean, that, that, was, that, was, that was not a bad part, though. I liked it. I said, Knuckles, he's getting serious, and I see why I actually didn't use that power up until now. He's like, because he's actually being serious with them. So, like I said, that's, that's pretty interesting. So, when it comes to Killa and Shoot, now, this is the part I was just like, what the heck? Like, I, I mean... I said this in my last review, and I kind of I should I should take back what I said on that because I was like, Killa has a weakness that he needs to kind of just go up in there, and start trying to actually fight and stuff like that. But I have to really think about it this way. I mean, he's he's very tactical. He's very smart. He doesn't just rush in there like an idiot like Gon does. Gon rushes in there like an idiot and just fights and will fight anybody regardless of how strong they are. Killa, on the other hand, will not fight people that are exceedingly stronger than them. Like he's facing his Nepropito. He was, there's no way he's going to win, so of course he's going to run away. Like, the decisions that he's made so far doesn't really indicate that he'd really leave gone, but Bisky's insisting that he will do something like that. I mean, there's been, like, maybe like maybe one instance where he actually made trouble. Well, yeah, maybe one instance where he actually did kind of run away, but even, even then, like I said, he really fought his enemies. He's always fought his enemies. Like, I was really thinking about this, because with this part right here, when it comes to this fight with uh, Shoot and Kyula, he, like... When he's facing a shoot, he's just really, really nervous. Like, what should I do? Should I, should I need to just run up in there. I need to just fight. I need to do this. Like, he got hit for no reason. He, he, he could have easily dodged this. And he's like, oh, I'm running, though. Like, how is dodging running away? Because that's why I don't understand. Like, he could easily miss. He could easily dodge that attack that shoot was coming. Like, oh, it was the palm thrust. He stepped up, and he just, boom, you hit him. Like, all he had to do was just step back. But he's like, no, that's running away. And I'm like, how is that running away? Like, this, this is the thing I had a problem with. Because it's like... So what 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 Bisky's in is, is insisting then is that he should just be be really rash and blunt and just go right in regardless of if he's gonna get hit or not or like what what's going on with that you know it, it just to me it doesn't make sense not to mention not to mention Gon has a luxury to actually go up in there and actually fight the reason why is because he's an enhancer he has enhancer ability he's meant to be going close close combat while Kula is a transmuted transmuter he does, he's not meant to be just all in there like that he has to be more um analytical on what he's gonna do and, and, and technical of how he's gonna fight otherwise he's gonna get owned like like that's kind of how his abilities are so seeing from this part right here it's just like it to me it just kind of it kind of makes sense like 
why like you can't dodge or something like it is just like i said it's weird because you should have just dodged that hit because when he got hit he lost his left eye or it's literally like just disappeared i don't know what i don't know what shoots ability is yet but we see three hands and a lantern yeah they're floating by the way yeah I'm, I'm, mind you they're, they're floating by the way so i'm not really sure what the heck his abilities are but they're very interesting if you get touched by them you're gonna lose you're gonna basically lose some parts or something i, I mean i'm not sure i'm not sure and i don't know how you get them back so I don't know what's going on when it comes to his ability. I just know that maybe we're probably going to get an explanation in the next episode, but it's going to be freaking crazy. His power looks pretty freaking interesting. He is pretty powerful, so I want to see what else he can do. And I'm hoping Kila can kind of get some of the resolve back to start thinking more technical about how he's going to fight. Do dodge. Do dodge. You don't have to. It's not running away. You you, you can't. Like, like, like I said, because Lumi's like, well, you just run away from this battle because it's one thing. Like, he's, he's too much. He's too, way too strong for you, though. She was not really showing so much power. It's just it's intimidating, I guess. So I mean, like I said, there is some instances where it se he seems like he's weak, or he's you know he has that little tendency to just run away. But at the same time, it's like to me, I, like Kill has always been a level-headed person. He, he knew when to run. He knows when to run. Basically, he knows when to quit. Is the whole thing. That, that's that's what it is. You and, and, and any person that has experience fighting and stuff should know when to quit. You, sh you don't ever just go in and try to fight. Like, if they really did... Because if that, if that's the same notion, because, I mean, this has to go back and it's stemming to the whole Nefropito thing, I guess you can say. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm ranting on this too long. I just I just feel like Kilo's not necessarily in the wrong of what he's been doing so far. You know, he's always made the right decisions on when to leave and when not to... Like, when to fight and when not to fight, basically. You know, so to me, and it shouldn't, and it shouldn't affect his, his, his way he battles now because he's smart. He will dodge the attacks. You know what I mean? Like, he, I don't know. I don't know. I just know he, it was stupid when he got hit with that attack because he could have easily dodged that and, and shoot noticed that. So, uh, yeah, at the end of this episode, the king is going to be reborn, like, oh, going to be born anyways. And when the queen looked, the way the queen looked, she, she was just like, like, oh crap, like, what happened? Yeah! Like, this is, this is the way she looked. I was like, what the heck is her face? Like, why she look like that? And then, next episode preview, we see the freaking king kind of looks like Cell a little bit, freaking tell and everything. Like, allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, I am the king, but, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait to see the next episode. This shall be interesting. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. What are your thoughts on the whole Kula situation? I, I, I kind of want to talk to you guys about this, because I'm, I'm curious, because. Like I said, it's like I, I, I was all thinking that he has weakness, but if I, if I really think about it and think about all the fights he's actually been in, like he never ran away from that bomber, by the way. The bomber supposed may, may have been stronger than him actually at that time, but he still fought him regardless. You know what I mean? So, I guess, like I said, but leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. Let's have a little bit of discussion here. Like, like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Hunter x Hunter reviews from me. So, yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.